It's Ketchup Packets. Hi everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today we are going to watch The Expanse, Season 3, Episode 10, entitled Dandelion Sky. Okay, cool, cool, a dandelion cool. is a little yellow flower. Yep. They grow abundantly. Mm -hmm. You can make tea out of them. Mm -hmm. They don't go. They don't grow in the sky. But no, they don't. But one thing that they do do is they, when they when they're done maturing, they dry out and then they disperse into the sky. Oh, you're mm -hmm. right. Like, and that's how they spread. And they're a weed, so kind of like an invasive, like species, especially like. In our part of the country, it's just dandelions everywhere mm -hmm. in the summertime to the point where it's like, get the dandelions out of my face. Um, yeah. So, you know. I think you may have cracked it yeah, there. Yeah, there's something something there about something sort of bursting apart and dispersing, like, irreparably across a wide area. The bubble, perchance? Could be the bubble. Ooh, interesting. Could the be the bubble. Pop and be, uh, you know, just mm -hmm. the whole outer solar system suddenly has little proto just, yeah, thingies. Yeah, all we know, you know, just takes a little teeny seed. Mm -hmm. And then it will grow into a whole bunch of proto molecule stuff going on. So, that's my guess. I think that's probably the most thoughtful guess I've ever given yeah. to, a, <laughs> to an episode it, it title. It clicked with you I may have cracked right this away. one, yeah. Or maybe not, you know. Last time we had our um, sort of party in the bubble everybody was going in there yep. and uh by the end of it james was jumping off of the ship to go to the nucleus that's right yep. seems like everything's pretty far apart but it's like close. it's yeah i mean because the behemoth went in there and the behemoth was tiny in there and the ring is big but it's close enough that he was able to just like take off with his suit thrusters from the yeah. ship and expect to get to the nucleus so yeah, I'm a little confused about what sort of distances we're talking about here. Somebody in the comments last time was like, well, if your ship's going fast and then you jump off it, you're going as fast as the ship was. I'm like, yeah, but unless they were doing, like, a flyby right by the nucleus, you still need a lot of thrust mm -hmm. in the other direction to get, like, you're going as fast as the ship was going this way. You gotta right. go this way. You know? so. And, you know, we've already learned a couple of rules about, like, flying with high velocity at this stuff. Mm -hmm. it seems to turn you into goop. So I'm, I would hope that he's not <laughs> using the momentum of the ship and then propelling himself even faster towards something that he has no idea what to even expect from it. Well, he seems to understand the speed limit stuff, so I wouldn't think he'd be doing that. Miller yeah. told him to go to the nucleus. He said it's a mm -hmm. crime scene, right? So mm -hmm. we have to take a look at what that is. Yeah. And Anna is on the other ship that is going through the ring. Oh, that's right. And yeah. is, she, you know, she stowed away. She seems to be... Well, I don't think she's stowed away. I think she found a way to get permission to be on there. Yeah. She's not, like, in trouble. She stowed away. She nicely stowed away. Mm -hmm. She's like, can I stow away? And they were like, sure. But she seems to be excited to be going out there and worried that she uh, she bought herself a one-way ticket. She's got a family to go back to. Yeah. It seems like if you have things to lose and you're excited about something in this type of show, mm -hmm. it's bad. It's gonna be bad. But we've also learned that the expanse doesn't always follow tropes and uh -huh. is rather unpredictable. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? Should we check it out? Let's do it. All right. We've got a Patreon link. If you want to see that, then go check that out. Full length reactions down there. We're gonna watch the expanse. I'm kind of surprised that the last image in the intro isn't now the ring. Like. Yeah, but maybe they don't do a new... I mean, I guess they change the intro all the time. And do not follow me. That's an order. Think they're going to follow him? Simu Lu, I just saw that name. That guy is, is Shang-Chi in the new Marvel movies. Oh. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings or whatever. Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah, seen it. But, yeah. Because out of the whole human race, you're the one flying toward the mysterious alien artifact with the dead guy? Yeah. You're just following your program. Just like me. Program? Mm -hmm. 
always had this crazy notion about free will. Then how come it is that every time there's some clusterfuck shitstorm situation in the universe, there's James Holden shrugging shoulders saying, how the hell did I end up here? You're really pumping me up for this mission. You got some determinism. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Patron saying a lost causes, kid. We're running from it. You're the chosen one to be in all these horrible situations all the time. Is that nice? Aren't you glad? This is the ship on is on. Mm -hmm. I haven't been sleeping very well since we got the orders to go through this thing. In the face of all this, sleep seems disrespectful, maybe? I would say more like terrifying. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think God wants us to be here. Mm -mm. Oh, as far as I can tell, scripture's quiet on this one. Excuse me. Thou shalt not mess with alien technology. Oh, well, so far so good. Like it would be like maybe a little underwhelming when you get in there and you're like, oh, still just on the ship. Yep. That's the slingshotter, Delta torpedo, MCRM probe. Anything that goes in too fast is down there. Distance apart. Oh. Huh. What is this place? Our angels fear to tread if they have any goddamn sense. Sorry, Master. I said it was the slingshotter and, and the missile and one other mm -hmm. thing. Rosinante, please respond. Well, they still don't have comms. No. Oof. And she's just in a little shuttle mm -hmm. going towards them. You sure you're up for this, Gunny? What do you mean by that? The things Holden did in the war with your help. It's a big part of why you were reinstated. It'd be understandable if you're feeling conflicted. How old is it to stop him before he does anything down there? And that's what I intend to do. It's very convenient that she's there. So I think she is persuadable. I get it. Alien shit. Magic gates. Naomi bugging off to go play Belter. Holden doing... I have no clue what Holden's doing. Me neither. I wish that I could tell you I was freaked out, but... I'm not. Not even a little. I haven't felt fear since I was five years old. Man, I wish I could go through life without feeling fear. No, you don't. You don't. Brother, I, I can't stop thinking that being in this place, that maybe this is it. Like, we're all gonna die. We are gonna die. No, all of us. Humanity. Can see why that's a concern. Yeah. I bet that if an object were to exceed the speed limit inside this ship, nothing would happen to it. We should test that. Maybe the purple glow is like a cyst. I don't follow. When you get a, a splinter, your body builds around it, isolating it. Infections can develop cysts. Maybe it's interpreting these objects as threats, and that's how it isolates them. There's no way to know why it's doing anything. Best we can figure out is how. Yeah, that's a shot in the dark. The models are going to help us understand this. Kind of makes you nervous. He's right that you should look at how first. Watching us, don't you think? A little bit, yeah. To know why you need to know the minds of the creators in mm -hmm. some way, you know? On the command deck, ma'am. Lieutenant, you okay? Just fine, ma'am. Is that the guy a zealot? Is he gonna do something crazy? Yeah, he's being a little shifty. But at the same time, you know, if I was in this situation, I might be acting a little weird too. Oh, it's just too bad we don't have our chief engineer to build us some probes. 
You have something to say. Yeah, I said. Oh, they're gonna take the ship. We needed Nagata here. You let her go. Naomi was mm -hmm. protecting no, drummer. It's a warship. The belts first and only. And I miss Captain. Yeah, no, oh, you're not. Oh, yep. Ashford's not gonna long. take control. Yeah, you are. Oh shit. Uh, we have a few autonomous farm drones with chemical samplers for soil. We can convert those into probes. The captain must know their ship. Uh oh. Yeah, it's bad. I repeat. He's showing his hand, though. Oh. Oh, it's Horizon yeah, Zero Dawn out. technology. I would be screaming right now in my suit. What are you waiting for? What's in there? <laughs> this stuff. The next lead in the case. Do you even know what the case is? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, we gotta find a records room. And then we gotta read the files. And then we see. What's what? That sounds pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Records room, files, all right. <laughs> there used to be uh, something here, a lot of something, a uh, civilization billions of years ago. But now all that's left is a bunch of locked doors and some lights on the timer. So what do we do? We figure out how to pick the locks. Billions of years ago. Yep. Wow. Yeah, you shouldn't you go inside because a lot of people are chasing you. No, no, yeah. don't do that. They're not gonna follow you in there. And keep moving. You're like, well, he's dead. Yeah, this guy's gonna do something yeah. evil. Got that look in his eye. Hey, dude, what you up to? Nothing. Look like you're up to no good, man. No. Yeah, what is he... What is he thinking? Just take a nap. Yeah. He said he hasn't been sleeping. You need some sleep. <gasps> oh, what? Come on. Oh, what? why? Well, why? Fuel Pure Mouth Project wreaked havoc. But why? I know, like the thing Gemma say to you, or how she said it. Uh, your captain can run their ship however they choose to. Captain should be you. So, uh, it's not good to say stuff like that, man. You've been boss man from the time before me, or have to belt a load on the ship was born. Yeah, that's true. I have. And I've drunk real earth whiskey out of the UN Admiral's mug and then scuttled her ship. I flew dark past a Martian battle group, and they never even knew I was there. And I've seen friends breathe the vacuum, and watched my only child burn. So when I tell you to tread carefully, you would do well to stop and talk. Oh, mm -hmm. So he doesn't want you to screw up his power play. Yep. Yeah, if you're planning on mutiny, you don't say a word about it. No, certainly not in the hallway. Yeah. Not sure what I can do that you can't. Hmm? Oh, you, you know, help me get the system back online. I thought you were plugged into this place. Yeah, but not to the record. See, they're locked, remember? So you can, you know, turn the key. Well, what do you need me for? Because you exist. Okay? That's why. <laughs> you seem real enough. I can't touch anything. I can't do anything. So it's a magic trick. So is your whole damn reality, kid. Just hmm. different buttons being pushed. Okay. Maybe I'm the illusion inside your head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to keep things simple here for you, okay? Calculus, amoeba. Monkey, Mozart. Huh. You're gonna have to insult me to my face, man. <laughs> you have to pick one or the other. Hey, I like yeah. monkeys. Come on. One of our crew has passed. I understand you were of the same faith. Would you be willing to say a few words at his service? Of course, who is it? Lieutenant Jordan Nemiroff. Um, what happened? He was cleaning his sidearm and accidentally discharged the weapon. Thank you, ma'am. That's just terrible. 
<laughs> it's a very respectful way to say that, yeah. Sorry, I ditched you. The XO keeps trying to limit our access privileges. If I'd known blackmail was gonna be this tedious, I'd have done something else. You look grim who died. Yeah. Mm. Not a fun thing to say yeah. when someone really died. Whoops. You're not here to praise the Lord. No, I'm here to talk to people. To offer comfort where comfort is needed. To sit with people when they're scared and grieving. That is what a minister is supposed to do. Aw. Not your fault. I think it has brought Sorry. her back a little bit, yeah. though. Clarissa? Oh. Now she recognizes her. Ah! Aha! Mm -hmm. Oh, now we have that yeah. lady uh -oh. to count on. Yeah. I want you to take us in and get us close to that portal as fast as you can. Without going over the limit. No fucking shit, Trip. That's SOP. That's understood. Copy, LT. Minimum duration, breaking burn. Get ready for some pretty heavy Gs, Marines. Lids on and load up. Martian Marines mm -hmm. are cool. Oh, yeah. God wants us to be together, to care for each other. Where two or three gather together in my name, there my spirit is also. We can't know all of the burdens that Jordan carried. So is that video a deep fake, do you think? Think that they just like make a... Just like a standing image of his yeah. face, it's not quite a photo. But yeah. yeah. Probably. Joel Piermau's daughter, Clarissa. She was disguised as a service tech. I was gonna call security, but I was social with Clarissa. She called security. Look, yeah. our fathers are cut from the same cloth. If she is on the run because of him, I don't want to be responsible for making it worse. Are you going to reach out to her? You think I should? I think you should do what you think is right. She might mm, kill you with her murder you. super strength. Yeah, with her bare hands. God. So cool. Like yeah, you're welcome. There are environments in Horizon Zero Dawn to look just like this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, show some respect. That's a bunch of writing. Whoa! Oh boy. Hand in there? Or? Yeah, I don't know. I might start with a stick or something. There's nothing else in here, huh? Maybe just the next clue. That it has my best. Maybe I'm just helping it to further its. It's using thing. Miller to talk yeah. to you because you trusted Miller. Yeah. But that's not Miller. Right. I think that's important to yeah. remember. Yeah, it's like helped keep him alive so far, but possibly only to complete its end goal. So. Just because it's got Miller's face on doesn't mm -hmm. mean it has Miller's values or goal. Is Miller in there? Or just a heap of proto molecule pushing my button. You're running yeah. out of time, kid. Not good enough. When Miller was on Eros, he could feel Julie. It's got nothing to do with Julie. Fuck you, then. For all I know, touching that thing could end up killing everyone I love. The same people she died to save. I'm so glad that he's asking this question. You died together. But she was already gone, wasn't she? She couldn't feel any more pain, but you could. Did it kill you? Did it tear you apart one atom at a time? Or did you burn? Miller? Miller! Well, now you're inside the thing all by yourself, so... Yeah. You sort of did need a guide. Maybe yeah. don't do what he's saying, but don't alienate him either. <laughs> 
Oh, don't be alone with this guy. Captain. Come to check up on me. Oh, yeah, I have been down here a while. Thought I'd do this until I could keep my temp. Uh oh. Though I am getting a He's not gonna kill her, is he? I should thank you for that. It would be very easy here. You put it in everyone's head. And after I left, I bet you were all praised for me, yeah? How important it is to respect the captain and so on. That way, when the turn come and you take over, they all know it was because you had to. No choice. Oh, we have a problem. We need to walk it out. Or else what? Well, you know what? One of you is going to end up dead. And I, th and I think Dremor is worried because she yeah. knows he's got more strength behind him at this point. Mm -hmm. Carissa? It's Tilly. Tilly Fagan, I was friends with your sister Julie. A little. You have me confused with someone else. She doesn't want to kill that you. That is just the sketchiest way that you can respond to that. Mm-hmm. Whatever your dad did or didn't do, you had nothing to do with any of it. It's not his fault, it's Holden's. He's gotta pay. Clarissa, whatever happened, you have no reason to be suffering for it. <laughs> now she does. She's a murderer. Yeah. And a saboteur. Oh, she's doing her thing! Uh oh. Oh no! No! Why are you gonna kill this lady? Come on! Oh, jeez. And I told her. Gonna be for halfway. It's good to see you, Miller. No. Oh. oh no. Holden. Boss fight. Holden, yeah. Stay with you. Battle arena and everything. I have to do this. There's yeah. no way to explain, but you gotta trust me, please. Think about Amos. Alex. Think about Naomi. You're putting them all in danger. If you really care about them, come with us. Do not take another step, Holden. or we will shoot. You're gonna fire your yeah. weapons in here? Yeah, right. He doesn't want to hurt us. How do you know that? It is a little bit more. Oh, about this a little bit. Did she? Who no, killed? No, they're all stopped. Oh, they're moving too fast. That's right. Oh. And now what? Yeah. <laughs> you woke it up now. How dare you? Grenade! Oh no. No, no, no! Oh, what dude. are you doing? That wouldn't work either though, would it? I don't know, man. Yeah, it's you guys need to cool your jets here. Yeah. Oh. Now he's dead. Oh. Everybody freeze. Yeah, yeah, that would be not a fun experience. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Well. He's Puddle Man. Oh, he's oh. been assimilated. Now we're never home. Do it. Why? Are you, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I might trust that less after watching that. Oh. Okay. The space jellyfish. We're going okay, back. so he's getting, yeah, he's getting some context here. Arbogast, the... Uh, he's naked. The bird! It's a bird! It's that stupid bird. I mean, the amazing bird. The perfectly accurate bird. Oh, okay. what is, what am I looking at? There was a lot of rings. Yep, it looked like we were looking through a bunch of portholes to different oh, things. And now they're all closing. Did it just, oh, just extinguish the sun? The sun? Oh! Oh no! That no undo. 
we can go back. We Wait, can go back a minute. What is <gasps> So that was the Prothean relic. Yeah. Right? He's Pretty oh, much, yeah. Hey, it's over. Oh my god. That wow, another one that went by quick. So did that just happen or was it like a like a warning that this is what could happen? Cuz it looked like he was looking from the nucleus out to the outer walls of the bubble. Mm -hmm. Now there was just like a bunch of like windows to different star systems and stuff. Yeah. Which would actually make sense that we kind of what we were talking about how it's sort of like the in-between space between like an airlock, distance yeah, travels. Right. And it, it, it's yeah. got the, the velocity limit so that you can't like fire weapons through it. You know, mm -hmm. you can just yeah. travel through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it apparently can maybe shoot a giant evil laser beam at a star. Detonate it or change detonated. it in some way. Yeah. So, and one thing that we do know about the proto molecule is that it gets its power and energy from nuclear like reactions Radiation, right yeah. so arguably it could potentially just sort of occupy a star and eat its yeah power i size. guess i mean they, yeah maybe that's like its goal or something but no because i think they, it they was... were able to friolate it yeah by with, using the thrusters on the ship so it's obviously mm -hmm. got some kind of threshold but that was also you know that was a like, human that was a human yeah. hybrid right, right, molecule. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. just like the pure stuff so you know, we got a big piece of information, though. Sorry, I didn't mean to no, interrupt go on. you. Um, Miller said to Holden, there was a civilization here billions of years ago, mm -hmm. but now it's just, like, locks yeah. and doors and stuff. So that, like, billions of years ago, though, I think that's an important piece of information. Yeah, we're talking it's like, a very long time. Civilization from a much earlier phase of the universe, mm -hmm. even, you know? Yeah. And so there is a concept in you know science fiction and like theoretical science fiction called a dyson sphere mm -hmm. and it's basically a giant some kind of structure that just extracts power directly from the star it's usually we have like, never observed you, evidence you know, of any of these things yeah, right? it's one of the ways that we sort of look for evidence of you know we we look for um disturbances in like star brightness to suggest that maybe there's a structure around it that's mm -hmm. blocking out the light at certain time frames and stuff yeah and this kind of feels like if you were looking for a way to like extract power and use it transfer it back that the proto molecule actually wouldn't be that bad of a system yeah if it was that created could be. I, by I, something I, else sure i can see that it's able to Hypothesis. build structures, mm -hmm. you know, it pretty much autonomously take, you know, organic and inorganic matter, extract energy, and then use all of that to create structures that make a window or some sort of in-between. Could be for power transfer. Why does it need uh, Holden? Because he exists. Yeah, that's that's a, the part that I'm not quite getting. It seems yeah. like... The proto molecule is capable of so many things, except for completing its own circuit. It needed right. Holden to be there for some yeah. reason. Maybe, maybe that is some kind of. So okay, so you need like somebody to throw the switch, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it needed a because I think if if so, I'm going out on, on a limb here because yeah, I, you're I kind just of speculating develop, wildly, developing a theory. The proto molecule is a manufactured thing. Yeah, and that. The potentially the the alien race that created it realized that it is a potentially a runaway, extremely dangerous thing. It can just destroy entire civilizations like easily. Okay. And so they, in order like for it to complete its its like plan, it has to have some sort of external intervention from a sentient being completing that circuit otherwise it would just be keep it from you know, from gray jooping the entire universe yes exactly um, okay I, you know this there's there's suggestions here they said a civilization it's obviously not the proto molecule itself isn't the being no it's right? a technology because it yeah. cause also suggested that the civilization that created this technology this wormhole whatever we're looking at um bubble is like long gone and that this is like some sort of like center point or like library of their knowledge some for some reason kind mm -hmm. of exists in the middle of this thing 
and that it also could be that he needed to intervene and that him doing that didn't cause anything but it was a uh, an explanation left behind by that civilization of like this is what you're dealing with or this is what happened to us maybe yeah is what yeah that was this is what this is capable of this mm -hmm. is what it does this is what it was designed for i have a feeling that holden is going to wake up knowing a whole bunch of stuff right so he, like yeah. the reference i made to the prothean relic for yep. people who don't know that's from mass effect where the main character sort of it's, he touches a piece of technology from a long dead civilization, has a bunch of visions, and then knows stuff that they didn't know before. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much exactly what seems to have happened here. He's gonna have to try, poor Holden's gonna have to try and convince all these bureaucrats and warmongers and, that are all just at each other's throats. They're like, we got a bigger problem here. Well, if he can get Avasarala on the phone, she listens to him. That's true. Know? And she's the Secretary General now. She's Queen of Earth at this yep. moment, so. Um... We had Clarissa Mao gearing up to kill that lady, and then we cut away and didn't go back. Yeah. So, she's gonna kill that lady. Is it Clarissa or Carissa? I can't remember. I can't remember. I've heard I'm, I'm not gonna bother remembering because I don't like her. <laughs> I see. I don't like her face. I don't like her actions. That was an act of contempt. You will yes. not learn her yep, name. Yep, exactly. Um, well, yeah, she's uh, still up to no good. Kind of hoping that's an off-screen death, because I like, I like the character that she was going to kill. His the new, name the is... new sassy lady? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she is fun. She was a good, mm -hmm. you know, nice for, for Anna to have a little bit of playful companionship through all of this, too, who can kind of, like, back her up. So all the ships <clears> got <throat> frozen, in, like, they got stopped mm -hmm. with the purple field out in the bubble after the Martians started firing inside the archive. So did the speed limit get reduced after the grenade went off? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Or... Like, what happened there? Because suddenly it grabbed everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It feels like a... Some sort of, like, mechanism. Like a safety like, okay, countermeasure yeah, turned yeah, on? Yeah, like, some, if something got through the, you know, the speed limit and, like, was able to actually cause damage to the internals of that library, that e the bubble just freezes everything inside mm -hmm. of itself. And Which, then it took Shang-Chi and turned him inside out. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And it also turns people into into dust that they can then use to repair itself? That's yeah, wild, yeah, man. And it assimilated him. Yeah, it turned mm -hmm. him into a living anatomy diagram, and then it assimilated <laughs> him. Yeah, so I'm also thinking those ships, though, like, they showed the, the people inside, like, kind of flying around, like, after mm -hmm. they, they came to a complete halt. And those ships are going, like, still pretty fast, right? Yeah, not as fast as the Belter who liquefied himself, but yeah, fast enough that there might be some that I feel like problems there. there. Yeah. Serious. Oh yeah. Done. Think about that. Like a, a, a car accident, in sixty miles per hour, will mess you up, and they wow. won't even tie it down. I so wonder that... if that's gonna be like horrific in yeah. the next episode. What yeah, we did they were see, going yeah. fast. Yeah. That would just obliterate oh, pretty Jesus. much everybody who wasn't strapped down, and probably even the people who were. If you were wearing a seatbelt, it would just. Slice right, three. like the Belter right. guy, you know, yeah, yeah, he just turned into goo. Ooh, okay, yeah. there's Brutal. a consideration to make that I hadn't thought about. Mm -hmm. Oof. Whew. Um, Man. yeah. What else? Anything else for this crazy one? Or? Oh, well, it looks like... Draper's in trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, she's in there with Holden and... Or, Drummer. The, guy with the two the two D's. Sorry. The two yeah. D's. Yes. yes. Drummer's in trouble. Drummer is in trouble. She's, yeah, uh, she's yeah. that's gonna a big lose control ship of that ship. To have a, a <clears throat> bunch of people just like, you know, you could just end up dead in one of those corridors and no one would really be able to I mean I assume they have cameras and stuff, but like if no one looks Yeah. It would be easy for I, I if I was her, I wouldn't be sleeping right now. Just be like watch my back at every single moment. It's true. And then you I mean, yeah, I guess the what can you even do when you're isolated yeah. on a spaceship? You just have to turn people to your side. You know, to yeah. Try to convince people that Ashford does not deserve to be the captain. You think you could convince these people that if you were just like, all right, you guys want him to be captain so bad, I'll just step down. You don't got to space me or anything. I'll just step aside. If you're all so, like, 
stuck on that idea and it's I'm dead or yeah. I step down. You think they would listen or you think they would just get her anyway? I don't know. I think a new leader is not going to let you be around as the old leader. You know, they're just, you're, they, yeah. they'll see you as waiting for your opportunity to take control back, it's you know? Very scary situation to be in. <laughs> yeah. You can't even be like, hey, just drop me off some, like, at the nearest island or mm -hmm. anything like that. No. It's just nothing. There is nothing. Woo! I'm excited to see where, yeah, this, this season's going fast. Yeah, it it's, is. Uh, we got a lot it's of nice. books crammed in here. And since this is, like, the last season, you know, because, like, I mm -hmm. canceled. They had to be rescued, and, it, like, they didn't know they were moving to somewhere else to mm -hmm. continue. They just thought it's canceled. So I think because of that that we're going to get some semblance of an explanation of what is going on in terms of what is the proto molecule like it's not going to leave us in the middle of unfurling all that info i think it's going to give yeah. us some sort of a definitive answer to the question of what's the expanse about you mm -hmm. know were it to be yeah. just a three season tv show they'll want to be able to you have some sort of satisfying for the audience to go like mm -hmm. okay i understand what i just it was this alien thing that was doing x and y you know yeah. like that's that's all I'm hoping for and thinking we'll probably get by the end of this season. Yep. My theory stands. It is a piece of technology that is meant to extract energy from stars for use by an ancient civilization that doesn't exist anymore. And mm -hmm. it is gray gooping, kind of like you said, where it's just sort of going by itself, even though the people who are in charge of it are long gone. Yeah, well, we'll have to see how right or wrong you are. I'm sure that commenters are either pulling their hair out mm -hmm. to you being wrong or being like whoa mm -hmm. they nailed it yeah so, well either way don't please let us know no spoilers yeah don't please spoil not. it i know i if i were you i would just be like i'm gonna type it please don't type it please don't just let it we'll figure it out eventually it's fun to just see yeah. it unfold so. yeah and That's, we're so glad that you're here right. seeing it with us guys. thanks for watching screaming firehawks it's good to have you here uh leave a comment press all the buttons do all the things until next time i'm sean i'm nate this is Ketchup Packets. Bye.